Hi, this is Rick Koster. This is a special edition of Live Lunch Break in celebration of uh, August and part of September that we spent here at the Hygienic Art Park. After a year inside our little uh, makeshift studios inside the day building, we came up with the idea of taking Live Lunch Break outside, celebrate the season. We had uh, Captain's Pizza show up bringing food every week and of course Rich Martin was kind enough to let us use this incredible outdoor venue. So we put together a greatest hits, if you will, of the acts that we had in the six week run here at the Hygienic Art Park. We thought it was a great idea to start with the Sue Menhart Band because they're just a great live act. They have a great following in the area and they're also the sort of people that would get out of bed early enough and bring an actual huge following to the art park. So this is the Sue Menhart Band. the idea of doing these shows in the Hygienic Art Park was to take advantage of the glorious summer weather. So almost immediately we got thrown a curve by Mother Nature. The next band up was Incognito Sofa Love, the great local jam slash jazz slash rock group. And the weather didn't look great so we took it inside over at the Telegraph 
record store on Golden Street. Here's ISL. to get around about uh, live lunch break and we're hearing from acts that are beyond our area. A case in point is the very fine Brooklyn cabaret rock act, Emily Danger. And the band contacted us as they were finishing up a tour through New England and asked if they could do a live lunch break. Because they were on tour, we made a special uh, arrangements and we did a show with them on a Friday instead of the regular live lunch break Thursday. And they stopped back through and played the course at the Telegraph on their way back to, uh, to New York. Sisters 
One of the oldest and most popular live alt-country acts in the area is the Paul Brockett Roadshow. And we got track, uh, back on track with him the following Thursday back in the uh, friendly confines of the Hygienic Art Park. This is Paul Brockett's Roadshow Band. Every night at this bar, I'm damn good to remember. 
We were worried about the weather earlier in the summer season when ISL performed and we moved them into the Telegraph and it turned out it didn't rain, so we thought we'd learned our lesson. We had Matza Cigar, the great prog rock band, uh, and it said it might rain. We said, you know what, it ain't gonna rain. Let's put them in the uh, art park where it's supposed to be. And unfortunately, there was a monsoon. Still, we got far enough into the show to uh, at least get a couple of tunes in. This is Matza Cigar. Thank you. 
As previously mentioned, uh, live lunch breaks starting to draw interest from bands all over the place. Uh, one of the uh, most popular bands in New Haven, indie rock band Ellison Jackson, had contacted us and wanted to come down. And plus, they were going to be at the IM Festival the following week anyway, so it's a nice way to sort of introduce yourself to the community. So we had Ellison Jackson come down, and they did a real nice set. And here is a sample. One of the coolest young bands in the area is a group that takes a lot of their inspiration from the SoCal uh, reggae surf punk sort of stuff going on, and that's Catfish Phillips. We had them in here on another nice afternoon, and they were a great band. This is Catfish Phillips. That makes you wanna take a step back and 
give yourself just a little bit of dancing room You bring the shaka laka and we will provide the boom If it was up to us there'd be no charge at the door But record our music cause the arms and legs of us for We appreciate more than you'll ever know The fact that you paid and came out to see our show If you face bass line then it'd be up strokes nothing more Look who's out there now because I got you girl Sisters out to our number one fan Oh yeah my man what was the name of that If you bass line then it'd be up strokes nothing more What's the clock in now because I got you girl Sisters out to our number one fan Oh yeah, my man, what was the name of the I'm flipping chips and yeah, I'm sipping on something that you wishing You didn't leave in the fridge that was in my kitchen Cause if you leave it there well then it's only fair I make the dairy disappear uh, Right in the thin air If it was up to us to be no charge at the door But record our music Cause the arms and legs of us for We appreciate more than you'll ever know The fact that you paid and came out to see our show With any bass line Don't lift me up strokes nothing more Look who's laughing now Because I got you girl This is out to our number one fan Oh yeah my man What was the name of if you bass lines and if the up strokes nothing more Look who's laughing now because I got you girl This is out to our number one fan Oh yeah my man what was the name of the band? area with its Knickerbocker Cafe going back to the 70s is one of the most fertile breeding grounds of jump blues and all the infinite permutations thereof. Uh, terrific act. Johnny and the East Coast Rockers has been around for years and they're still extremely popular and they blessed us with a visit on a really hot afternoon and did a great jet. Here's Johnny and the East Coast Rockers. <laughs>
close the uh, our summer session at the Hygienic Art Park live lunch break series uh, with a guy named Steve Broderick, who's from upstate New York and then New York City, uh, made a pretty good name for himself playing original rock in that area and then as a singer for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Fell in love and moved to North Stonington and put together sort of a super group of area musicians called Steve Broderick and the 100 Watt Sons. Yes, that is a pun on a guitar amplifier. Uh, they have been recording a lot of really nice material, original material, and they performed for us. It was a pretty damn good show. And it ended up, it was a great way to end uh, what was a fine experiment. And we're going to be continuing as we go into the autumn, doing the live lunch break at the Telegraph record store. Uh, we've got Sandy Allen, the Sandman, will be here next week. And then following up after a lengthy national tour, coming home is Pocket Vinyl. So I hope you enjoyed this. This was a special greatest hits centric exclusively to the Hygienic Summer Series of Live Lunch Break. Don't go to 